Howdy students, welcome to the Skimmers Project intro. So the Skimmer Project is pretty cool. You end up with something that is able to skim across the floor or supposed to be able to skim across the floor. It's uh, testing your accuracy, your precision, your measurement, all these skills it is uh, testing you in. So you're gonna use for this project a couple of things. First thing is a manila folder, not a vanilla, but a manila folder. So you need this. Usually you only need one part of it. You don't need both, um, but I'll probably give you one of these, just the full set. You also need a pencil, you'll need a ruler, you'll need a glue stick. Does it have glue? Yes, it looks like it does. Scissors. Oh, don't forget your brain. That's good. Okay, all these things you will need. First suggestion, I would take uh, the, the top part of this folder, I would utilize these creases here, this crease right here, and this 90 degree angle to make your project, uh, make it nice and neat. Otherwise, you're gonna have to yourself go in and measure the 90 degree angles. So use what you have here. Second suggestion, you see these little perforated edges, or creased edges? We wanna avoid drawing our lines and our project on top of that, so avoid that. The next thing I wanna talk about are the resources you have available to you on the computer. So the first of the resources for you is this video, of course. You also have access to the procedures for this activity, which are uh, located by clicking on the procedures there. It's gonna take you to the MyPLTW, so make sure you're logged in. Um, and it will give you um, the lay down, the layout of equipment, procedure. This procedure is very thorough. Um, if you're not sure what you're doing, please follow these step by step. They will guide you in the right direction. You also have crucial images here that will help you. There are two sets. One are in millimeters. Okay. The next set are in inches. So whichever one you are least comfortable with, I would suggest using that so you have more practice in it and you become better at it. So there you go. Um, a lot of the times these are confusing as to how to lay these out on your folder. So I have been one step ahead of you and gone ahead and made a layout for you or a suggested layout for you. Um, so this is located by going to the folder layout on Weebly and that's what this is. So the folder that I just showed you, if you use all of these, so you have one main body, you have two fins, and you have one air scoop. You need each one of these for a successful skimmer. Yeah, I would lay it out like you see here. Remember, dotted lines are lines that you're folding. Solid lines are lines that you're cutting. So if you see a solid line, you're going to cut it. If you see a dotted line, you're going to fold it. If you need help as far as assembling, it should look, at the end, it should look like this. You have a top, front, and right side view, a multi-view sketch of this. Use this, these hidden lines here to help you locate the air scoop, which is underneath the front here. So there you go. You have some resources here to help you build the skimmer. Please use them to your advantage before coming to Cowsbeak.